Hey everyone, welcome back to Shady Review. In today's video, we are reviewing the Ray-Ban Gym Sunglasses. But first off, we thank today's video sponsor, our own website, ShadyReviewStore.com, the absolute best place to buy designer sunglasses, just like these up to 80% off the original MSRP. Again, the website there is ShadyReviewStore.com. Check it out. So let's go ahead and pop these sunglasses on face and talk about the dimensions. These sunglasses have 53 millimeter lenses and a 20 millimeter bridge, and this is the standard size of these sunglasses, but Ray-Ban does produce these in a larger lens size which has 55 millimeter lenses and the same 20 millimeter bridge. These are a really cool pair of sunglasses because they're basically a squared off version of the original uh, Ray-Ban round or kind of Ray-Ban hexagonal here. So let me go ahead and pop on the original Ray-Ban round here and see how these look on face. Again, this is the standard size of the original Ray-Ban round, and these are produced in three different sizes, but of course, again, these are the standard. And now let me go ahead and pop on the Ray-Ban hexagonal here. And again, this is the standard size of the Ray-Ban hexagonal uh, to give you guys a good idea of what these frames look like on face. So basically the gym is just a squared off version of the hexagonal and round. So let me go ahead and pop back on the Ray-Ban gym here. And here we can see if the frames back on the face, I think they look really, really good and interesting. It's a really nice looking pair of frames that definitely is going to make you stand out a little bit more than if you're just wearing a traditional pair of Ray-Ban rounds or hexagonal. These frames are just a little bit different and I really do like that about them. Now as far as the name Jim goes, I think Ray-Ban is trying to pull a little sneaky on us uh, by calling them the Ray-Ban Jim and that's because it's probably going to get a little bit better uh, SEO score. Uh, when people are typing in Ray-Ban versus Maui Gym, these gym are going to pop up in Google Images and they're just gonna pop up in general. And again, it's gonna be very popular because it is a frame from Ray-Ban and Maui Gyms aren't nearly as popular as Ray-Bans are as far as search traffic and everything like that goes. And these frames are also available in some really cool Ray-Ban polarized chromance lenses, uh, which are very comparable to Maui Gyms polarized plus two lenses. So again, I think that's what they're kind of trying to do uh, with this frame, but either way, I do really like the looks of these frames. They look really nice on face, uh, very flattering, and have a really cool design to them as well. Of course, like every pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses, we can see a little painted on Ray-Ban logo here in the top right corner of the lens, and then we can also see a little etched RB logo here in the middle left of the lens as well. Again, that's for authentication purposes, and they have some really nice etching along the rim of the frames as well, and then also here in the outside temples, which just feels really nice and premium, and they have these uh, acetate ear rests, which feel really good behind the ear as well. Now, these frames are made in Italy, and they sit here in the inner right temple of the frames. They say Ray-Ban made in Italy, and the build quality here is really, really good. They also have fully adjustable nose rests. You can completely bend these out and adjust them to your liking, and through the nose rest, we can see a little etch RB logo, which is there for authentication purposes. Now, if we take a look here at the top bridge of sunglasses, we can see they say Ray-Ban 5320, which of course stands for the lens size and the bridge width of these frames, and of course, if you got these with the larger lens size, it would say 5520. Now, these frames do have Ray-Ban's new beefed up uh, hinge which are going to be a little bit more durable than the hinges found on the uh, Ray-Ban hexagonal or the Ray-Ban round, where here we can see they're just a little bit more delicate and a little bit more easy to bend. Also, the temples on the gym are much thicker and stronger than the temples on the uh, Ray-Ban hexagonal or Ray-Ban round family. As far as coverage from sun goes, these frames don't offer very good coverage, but they do offer better coverage uh, than the Ray-Ban round or the hexagonal. So here up top, we can see there is a pretty big gap that's sunlight and unprotected. Then here on the sides, again, there is a pretty big gap that lets sunlight in unprotected, but it, they do offer better coverage than again, the original Ray-Ban round or the hexagonal, which is really nice. Now, as far as pricing goes, these frames are going to run you $163 directly from Ray-Ban's website. And I am going to leave a link in the description below directly to the website if you're interested in picking up a pair of these sunglasses for yourself. But I'm also going to leave a link in the description below to our own website, shadyviewstore.com, where we are always offering about 20 plus dollars off the original MSRP on a brand new authentic pair of these sunglasses. But overall, I think it's a really cool and interesting pair of sunglasses from Ray-Ban. I really do like the design of these frames. They definitely look very fresh and kind of modern. And overall, I think these are going to fit a lot of people's faces really, really well. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give me a big thumbs up down below. And of course, make sure to hit that subscribe button and then you'll be notified every single time I upload a brand new video just like this one to our YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.